Hi, so uh, just a quick look at um, how to use uh, Mozilla Thunderbird to access open news groups. If you notice when you're in the install procedure of actually putting Thunderbird on, I'm, I'm using Windows as an example here, um, but in the um, setup procedure um, you want to choose news group account from the list of possible configurations that you can choose at the setup stage. Click next. Put any name in here that you want. Any email address. Click next. And then we're in the field that says news group server. We're going to get that news group server from this handy little site called newsbot.com which is spelt with a Z. And at the top here you can search for uh, any website that you're interested in finding. We're interested in documentaries, uh, docu, just to broaden it up to other kinds of groups, search, other, other groups that might have a different spelling of docu documentaries. Uh, and as you can see, oh, documentary indeed, uh, singular. And you can see here that it presents you a list of um, all the groups with certain group names. All the group names that are available. And alt.binaries documentaries is a group which is available on the following servers, the one at the top having the most hits. So we're going to highlight the name of that server and put it in the clipboard. Go back to oops, go back to Mozilla Thunderbird, paste the name of that server in there, say next, leave the account name, leave it the same as the account, as the server name. It's then going to give you a final confirmation screen where you're going to say yes, finish. And now down the side panel here in Thunderbird. Uh, you get the name of the server in the side there with your local inbox folders because Thunderbird is also a mail program as well. Uh, and this button at the top for news groups, manage news group subscriptions, is going to open up this dialog box that um, will retrieve the list of group names from the open access news server that you've just uh, included in your server list. Once all the group names are in, you can see that you get an expanding branch or a filter box at the top here that you can search for. And there is documentaries. So we say, yeah, we're going to subscribe to that by putting a little checkbox in the, in, the, in, the, in the window next to it. Say OK. And then in the side panel here, that news group becomes one of the groups that we are subscribed to for that, for that particular news server. The next window that you get pop up it simply limits the amount of articles that it's going to download to your local machine at one time. Um, you can download all the headers, as you can see in this particular group there are 12,446 uh, messages waiting to be read. We're just going to download the first 500 so that we can um, just set up a quick example here. You can see once all of those articles are in, most of them are separate parts Compromising once they've been uh, comprising once they've been put together of a whole article, so a whole uh, file, just float over that there. You get the full uh, name of um, what what's actually contained inside that, uh, that that article. And so, if you wanted to download this particular documentary, you would simply highlight all of the files which comprise that split article and. Um, from the file menu, choose Save As. And you can see, if, if all of the parts were selected correctly, then you would get that wouldn't be grayed out. Um, it would simply let you hit Control and S to save all of those those parts. Um, to go back to the new server and click Manage Subscriptions again, just to filter out. Um, we're going to look at pictures of American automobiles because single picture attachments are easier to browse. Um, ah, they're missing. 
Okay, bad example. Right click and unsubscribe from that group. Say yes, I'm sure. Subscribe to another one. Um, all the binaries images. You're going to have to be careful using Usenet, by the way. There's a lot of uh, groups that you probably wouldn't want to show to your mother, if you know what I mean. Okay, we appear to have picked a couple of bad examples for groups. But you can see the documentaries group is uh, f fit to burst. And because we've only downloaded the first 500 articles, uh, just to keep the examples uh, quick, uh, it's it's probably not a very good example, but you get the idea if you download, if you right-click on that, um, and choose properties, then it's possible to... Uh, retrieve the rest of the articles from the server. So there you go, using Thunderbird to read Usenet. Now, obviously, if this server turned out to not have um, all of the articles that we were interested in, we'd just go back to newsbot.com uh, and choose uh, another server. In this case, it's come up with uh, one there, Yellow Octa News. That's got 65 articles uh, um, in that particular um, sort of server cache of that particular group but you can go through methodically and find you can even search by server by clicking on group account at the front page of newsbot uh, you can see this this top server at the top there is um, you know it's very busy it's got lots of groups um, if we click on it we get a bit of information about how many articles uh, you know, what the article retention is like what the speed is like and so on and so forth so by combining uh, Mozilla Thunderbird with newsbot.com it's possible to connect to Usenet without handing over a single penny to a, a, a pay per access server like easynews.com which you know is quicker and more reliable but you don't have to pay if you want to just download one or two articles uh, so I hope that helps